Greetings YouTube. I thought I'd videotape this like I told you guys. I got cats in my yard. There's about seven of them. Sometimes it's even more. I got a soft spot in my heart for animals, especially cats. And it's just a shame that all these uh, cats out here and each cat represent somebody to toss them out. Cause see that big cat there, the black one? That one was just, uh, I can tell he had been domesticated because he'd come to you and want to want you to rub him for the, for the longest. So somebody just tossed him. And I want to specifically show you this cat. You know, she's quite friendly. This is a small cat and you wouldn't believe it. Two weeks ago that cat gave birth to kittens. Like who's sleeping or having sex with the babies? But I guess it's just like in a human culture. You know, they take advantage of the young and the naive, unfortunately. And my neighbor seen two of her cats from the litter. But we don't know where the rest of them at. I think she kind of abandoned them because I haven't seen the little kittens yet. And see, that's my hero. I'll tell you why he's my hero. Because there's this nuisance cat that's been hanging around for two years. Very hostile, very feral. Won't let nobody go near him or her. And she had the nerve to be snarling at you when you're trying to feed her. And my hero got tired of that and chased out the yard. And what's kind of interesting is the cat she chased out is her grandmama. Meaning that her grandmama had a baby and her baby gave birth to him, her, or him. <coughs> so we got. In essence, like uh, fourth generation of cats in this yard. You know, cats do multiply, and that's because people carelessly just toss them out instead of trying to find them a home. And then they just go wild. I had bought a cat house for my cat, but it was so poorly put together because parts were missing. I just decided to put it out here and they enjoy it. But I'm going to be signing off in a minute because uh, my battery is very low. And there is my cat. I don't know if you can see her. She's shy and don't want to come out. I'm going to be signing off now. It's a beautiful day out here. Yeah, the big one, he's very affectionate. This is the biggest cat I've ever seen. Now, I've seen hundreds of cats. and had many cats when I was growing up. But this, that cat is huge. It's a boy. I would love to give him a bath, but uh, he for, he scares me because he's a big cat. I'm like, if he goes berserk or goes salty on me, he'd do me some damage. So I'm going to leave him be because uh, I learned my lesson two years ago. Actually, three years ago. It was a cat about like looked like that one. Kind of, he was smaller. I was like, look at the kitty. He was the first cat that was in my yard. And like I said, I love cats, and I instinctively wanted to rub it and pick it up. And I kind of chased it in my yard and cornered him, picked him up, and he bit the shit out of me. I was like, okay, we're not going to ever, ever do that again. These are feral animals. And I have to remember that. These are feral animals. These are not the kind that you find in, in people's houses. These are feral animals. This cat here I opened up my door and she ran in. I was like, uh oh, that ain't a good idea. And my cat didn't like it. My cat did not like it. I put food out for them several times a day. Cat food is kind of expensive. And then milk too. They go through milk like I put like a, a gallon out a day sometimes and they lapping it up. Look at this one. She's real affectionate. 
and I got one in there that wants to go in my yard. Take a dunk in my mooch. Come on, buddy. Alright, signing off now. Looking at the clock, say five minutes have passed. They love milk. What side is my cat? Don't really care for milk. My cat cares for more water than milk. My cat is very unique. She's almost vegetarian. She rarely eats cat food. Rarely. And she will only eat meow mix, the beef flavor. She won't touch nothing else. I've tried at least 10 different uh, foods, cat foods, and she won't. She sniff it and walk away. And that's interesting because cats are the original I love, I live to eat, and then hamsters. You know, most cats eat all day. You crack that refrigerator, they come running. But my cat's like, uh, her interest is not really food. She's very unique.